Hello, children. There has been a great disturbance in the Force, felt by everyone on this planet. Let us take a break from this and read a story together. Today, I will be reading Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sendak. This was one of my very first childhood books, and I love it so. Let's hope it stays together while I read it. Where the Wild Things Are Where the Wild Things Are Story and Pictures by Maurice Sendak That night, Max more wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called to him wild thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around him. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day in his little red boat. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And they made him king of the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus begin. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. And so he gave up being king of where the wild things are. Let the wild things cry, 
Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day. And into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. So thank you for joining me for story time. Make sure you put your blasters away before bed. And I'll see you next time.